Well, according to defence officials, none of the passengers or crew on board this Tupolev 154 aircraft operated by the Russian military survived the crash, which happened shortly after takeoff from the Black Sea resort of Sochi in southern Russia. Uh, a naval recovery operation has been underway to retrieve uh, bits of the aircraft fuselage and bodies, and a formal uh, uh, investigation into the disaster has been launched. This was an aircraft en route to Syria and to Russia's military base there at Latakia. On board were more than 60 members of the Russian Army's official military choir and dance troupe, the uh, the Red Army Choir or Alexandrov Ensemble. They were due to give a New Year's performance to Russian troops stationed uh, in Latakia. It's also the exact type of aircraft used by the Russian Defense Ministry to transport journalists to Syria. Me and several of my colleagues uh, have taken this trip in the past. Indeed, Russian officials say there were at least nine journalists on board this flight apparently all from Russian news organizations who'd been especially invited to cover the musical performance in Syria. Well, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, has offered his condolences and declared a day of national mourning for the passengers and crew who lost their lives. He's also appointed his prime minister, Dmitry Medvedev, to oversee the crash investigation. Russian officials say they're ruling out terrorism at this stage as a possible cause and are focusing on mechanical or pilot error to explain why this aircraft in apparently smooth weather conditions plunged fatally into the sea. Matthew Chance, CNN, Moscow.